Okay, because these tools are new to me um, and are not new actually, I'm going to go ahead and give this a little accuracy test and uh, presumably can uh, get the little calibration screws here. So it sh if it's not an adjustment within tolerances, then it should be able to make it so. Um, all of these accessory heads take 9 volt batteries, uh, as does the meter itself. This electronic handle takes 9 volt battery, which uh, I opened this one up to do so, and I noticed something kind of interesting here. It's like this little spring that does appear to be soldered down to the circuit board there, and then it's got this kind of metallic film on the back, so um, is that some kind of like ground reference or something? I don't know. Um, Kind of interesting though it's obviously very specifically there for a reason and uh, this one had a battery in it and this one did not uh, when I received it and I'm pretty sure that's a factory battery I, if I recall correctly the one that was in my HS 36 there was a, a Toshiba 2 that uh, just the case of it looks familiar uh, the um, so that's kind of impressive I do remember the original battery in that one lasting a really long time as well so, um, yeah, that's kind of impressive, actually. That's probably, and it's very possible the tool never saw very much use, but the fact that it has, seems to have a factory battery in it still, and this is probably, I don't know, is a serial number. I don't know if that has a date code in it, but I, know these, I mean, definitely could be 10 years old. I don't know. Hard to say for sure. I don't know if they've changed. I know they still offer this electronic handle. I know some of the things that were from this era have kind of been discontinued, um, retired, whatever. So, anyways, that's kind of impressive. But I'm going to do a uh, do an accuracy test. So, I just wanted to show you that while I had the battery compartments off. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to take a nine volt too. Um, I need to find a find a source of those nine volt batteries some uh, some unsuspecting janitor's closet somewhere just kidding of course um, uh, <clears throat> as you can see here we're in a stabilized glass of ice water here meaning it's been sitting long enough that it should be 32 degrees it's, and got 35 on one probe and 37 on the other they're about the same place in the glass there really should not be a difference um, and obviously it should be reading 32 so this is off by a little bit uh, but we'll see if we can trim it trim it down on both of them and uh, get them to both read 32 and then uh, another thing I like to do is go with another known temperature which is uh, uh, body temperature 98.6 or at least it should be as long as you don't have the the corona aids I guess um, is what your temperature should be um, so it may seem a little bit gross but uh, you put that probe under your tongue and you should get 98.6 um, let's see if we can get some more definition here by changing the millivolt setting yeah that's yeah we can so 37.7 so that just gives you more definition on just the millivolt range there so basically as far as I can tell that's all this electronic handle is is just a um, little meter that strictly reads millivolts so anyways I'll see if I can adjust that down and then I'll see I'll test the temperature on the other end of the range with the 98.6 body temperature there once I get them both reading the same. This is a dual temperature unit, by the way. It's a standalone ST4. Uh, this has been good. It's It seems to stay pretty accurate. And this probably will too. It just probably wasn't properly calibrated or whatever. Right. Epic pile of incense ash there. You guys like that? Um, anyways, so yeah. I just calibrated this not too long ago using the same method, and I, I'm trusting that it's still good. Um, I just honestly just need to rob the battery and the two temperature probes out of there. So, um, 
And by the way, on these nine volt batteries, what I do, uh, if it's something I don't use all the time, I'll put it in there upside down, you know, not, not with the leads connected. I've never, I've, I've never seen a nine volt battery leak, even when it was completely discharged or whatever and sitting for a long time. Uh, but apparently they can, I've heard other people say they can. So I guess I have no choice to, but to believe that. Um, and it, but to me, it seems like the really, they only start to leak when they're like under a load and even like I, there might be some kind of micro, uh, you know, absolutely microscopic, uh, you know, parasitic load on there, even when it's off. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Um, but either way, it, it seems to me that it's, it's when the device, when the, it's at, the batteries are actually plugged in is when it leaks. So, um, could be completely wrong about that, but that's, that's the way I do it. That's uh, my little security blanket for that is if it's a tool that takes a nine volt battery that I don't use all the time, I just flip it, uh, partially to save the battery life and partially to hopefully have it not leak. Uh, if it takes triple A's or double A's, I just, um, and it's not something I use regularly, I just keep them out of there and then keep uh, a little, one of those little small boxes with the whatever battery size in with the tool in a separate container because those always leak. So once they get discharged. So I got it in the range there. It was reading exactly 32 a moment ago, but it's maybe floating around. Point, point one I can deal with. Um, it was a little closer than I thought once I got it uh, positioned a little better and the glass was kind of down below in the warmer water there. So uh, I'm going to do the same thing. This is uh, probe number one. So I'll do the same thing on probe number two. Let's see. The adjustment pots in there are really, really small. Uh, I was uh, a little disappointed they weren't thermostat screwdriver size. Like that, that wouldn't even go in there. I had to get out the little jeweler screwdriver there, but that's okay. So, I uh, think it should be salvageable, anyways. It was just a little bit out of adjustment. 